Let's take a closer look now at the Hispar half bag. The idea of the half bag, of course, is that it insulates your lower half only. It insulates your legs and your feet. And the top half of your body is insulated by a down jacket or a synthetically insulated jacket that you're already taking with you on the mountain. So it's a way of cutting weight. But half bags are a very, very useful piece of equipment, whether it's for an unexpected bivvy or a planned camp. They are a really useful piece of equipment and they're, they're very popular with our clients. Let's just take a closer look at the Hiss bar first. I'll, let's just run through the construction. Half bag there of course and it is designed to cinch in. It's got a cord at the top. It's designed to cinch in around your midriff, around your tummy really and to go over the top of a down jacket that you've, you, you've got with you. It's a very simple way of, of closing it in. I've seen jackets where we have, uh, I've seen systems designed before where you use a zip to combine the half bag and the jacket, but uh, the, there's potential failures there with zips around here. And also it's a complicated system and it's not necessary. The simplest way is the best, isn't it, usually in the mountains. So it's got a cord around it. You see the back of it is raised. It's, it's brought up higher around the back and that is so when you sit forward, when you're sitting up in your bag, for, to, to, to sit, for instance, if you were cooking, if you were cooking on a stove, um, to sit up in it, you need a little bit more coverage to make sure that it doesn't go short at the back and cold air get in around your kidneys and your waist. So it's raised around the back. Other than that, it's a very, very simple piece of equipment. You can see it's it's designed like a mummy bag. It's wider. At the, at the waist and the hips, and then it comes in around where, where your legs are, much narrower of course, and the base of it is down filled um, and uh, overly filled. Foot boxes are often overfilled to get extra warmth around your feet. So it's a traditional full sleeping bag foot box. Let's just talk about the materials. It's made in Ultrashell. Ultrashell is this water resistant fabric. It's a very, very lightweight fabric and it's, it's got a permanent proofing. We've got on the underside of the fabric, the side you can't see, it's got a PU coating sprayed onto it. That's permanent and it lasts the lifetime of the product. And on the outside of the fabric, it's got a DWR coating and that's what helps water bead and run off the, the, the sleeping bag. Of course, it's not designed for being outdoors on its own. You need to be under a tarp or under shelter if it's wet or inside a tent, of course. The reason for is that is because all the little stitch lines here, how we've constructed the box wall construction, those made little little holes in the fabric where the, where the thread is and of course water would eventually go in through there. So it's not designed to be used on its own like that. If you do want to use uh, it on its own in, 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 in potential wet weather, we can shell it in dry LX and tape it so that it's a, a waterproofed shell over the top. That's one of the options. Okay, so the outer is ultra shell. The inner is 10X, uh, is MX, sorry, MX fabric. MX is a very robust and very tough fabric, very, very lightweight, but also it's got a very high tear strength, so I really like it. Um, and the filling is 950 down. That's pure, natural, 100% go uh, goose down, 100% goose. And it's very, very high quality down. And these downs that we use are natural downs. They're not chemically enhanced or uh, changed to change the properties, stiffen the down or alter its properties. They are natural high quality downs and the reason we use those is because we get the highest loft possible and also because we get the greatest longevity of the down. It doesn't deteriorate. The qualities of the down don't change as long as the equipment is cared for properly, stored properly, and particularly important when it gets wet or when it's been washed, that it's dried fully and aired fully before it's put away. If you do that, equipment like this will last a lifetime. It's a very high-end uh, piece of a, a build. Okay, other than that, the only other thing to tell you there is on the construction of the bag is we've put 
uh, reflect around the base. That's just a simple safety feature for nighttime searches. If someone was looking for you, like on my jacket on the Minimus here, a little bit of reflect. You don't need a lot actually, but it's picked up very, very quickly by the beam of a torch. So it's just a useful safety feature to have on, and we put it on a lot of our equipment. All right, let's talk about the temperatures because that is the key piece of information. It's box wall construction and it's rate, it's got two ratings actually. Let's just look at the uh, camp rating first. We've, we've split it into two ratings because there are two very distinct uses potentially for this piece of equipment. One, is them, one of them is to camp, is to use it in, instead of um, a, a, a traditional full mummy sleeping bag. So that's the camp rating and the bivy rating is to use uh, for an unexpected bivy out on the mountain or even a planned bivy. But with a bivy we're, we're talking about a shorter night and lighter sleep. You see, you'll be warm enough, comfortable enough to get through the night and to be in good form for the next day's climbing or, or adventure. But with camping, we're talking about a, a proper unbroken night's sleep. So it's replacing a sleeping bag. Okay, so the camp temperature with a suitable jacket. The Hiss bar half bag is rated at minus seven degrees C. That's its typical operating temperature is minus seven. So it's a very impressive piece of equipment, very light and very warm. Need the, the right top, of course. And then for bivying, it'll go much lower, of course. And we're looking at a temperature rating of minus 15 to minus 25, depending, of course, on the, the, the upper half, the, the insulation level of your jacket. It needs to keep up with it. It needs to be as warm as the lower half to work. Work. they have to work together but you're talking about a bivy temperature of minus 15 to minus 25 okay so that was a that's a closer look there at the Hispar half bag all right cheers